no pain, no gain. We'll be walking on our upper shoulder, our thighs, and our hip. One, a shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your thighs. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Check your side. You work on your your hip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The more you pump it, the more it comes out. One, two, three. Four and five. Okay. Back to your upper shoulder. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Listen. When you walk on your thighs. The bows, you know, people usually have these uh, body pili here and dark spots. When you walk on your thighs, you give space to the two place and it cleans up. And you walk on your thighs, balance it up with your hip, because when your thighs goes in, your tips, your hips come out when you pump it by squatting, doing so many squats, squat in a day. Then ensure your shoulders stand up as a lady. You don't need to leave your hand this way. You should stand up because the way your charisma, your, your courage stand on your body is not even apart from what, how, how you compose yourself. Your shoulder needs to stand firm. I'm not raising it up. You can see that it stands firm. So you work on it every day. And I'm sure anytime you work on your shoulder, you work on any part of your body, balance it up with your arms so that it will look firm because it supports your body. Okay, I guess you learn from this. See you tomorrow, 7 a.m.